Hello everyone, thank you for coming back again. There are five paths to this discernment, and today we are going to do the third part of the collective discernment exercise, which is on the theme Call of Faith. Before we begin, I hope you have your Bible, crucifix, a battery operator candle, and your journal with you. Let's begin our session with a prayer. This is taken from the Catholic 200 SG prayer. Why don't you say the prayer with me? Let's invite God our Father to be with us during this discernment time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, to renew your people with the conviction and courage of our early missionaries. Rekindle our faith so that we can be beacons of light in a world darkened by sin, hopelessness, and ignorance. Protect us from the snares of the evil one and grant us the grace to remain faithful to you. Amen. Yay! Yay! Now that we have invited God to be with us, let us move on to reading the Bible. Let's read this slowly. As we read this, picture this in your mind and let us ask ourselves, what is Jesus trying to say to me in this passage? Today's scripture reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trodden underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Let us now pause for a while. Write in your journal what you think Jesus is trying to tell you in this Bible passage. When you are done writing, you can continue this video. Yay! Yay! We have completed the first half of the discernment exercise. Let us continue now with the reflection part. The missionaries were Christ-like to the people who needed them most. Just like the missionaries, we too can be Christ-like to the people who need us most. In my life, how have I been touched by another person? Were there times when someone chose to share something that showed me God's love in action? When people I know make the special effort to reach out to others and to me, they acted as Christ-like in the midst of darkness. Let me share with you a story of one person who showed Christ's light. He was the late father Stephen Lee. In 1927 to 1928, a large group of Chinese Teochew villagers came from China to Singapore. They were forced to leave their homeland because of unrest in China, and the villagers feared being persecuted for being Catholics. They came to Singapore, but had no place to stay. Father Stephen Lee wrote 50 letters to the British government on their behalf before the government finally agreed to let the villagers settle down in the Mandai jungles. This became known as the Catholic Mandai village. Here's a fun fact for you. The Mandai villagers built a chapel which later became the Church of St. Anthony. The Church of St. Anthony is now in Woodlands after it shifted from its original Mandai location. Right now, how about we think of the moments when we have been Christ's light to others? Or how about the times when other people have been Christ's light to us? Let's write a prayer to ask Jesus for the courage to be his witness and his light to others by the way we live and talk. Now that we have this prayer, we need to do a bit more thinking and reflection. Today's general question is, 
What can we do as children of God to spread this good news? Yes! We have finally completed discerning about our call of faith. We hope you are finding this a meaningful activity to do. God bless you everyone! And remember, Jesus loves you. This video is made possible by the Catholic 200SG's Collective Discernment Exercise Committee.